you can see. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, fine. So here we are, uh, still in Adibosco, and behind me is uh, a place where we think male mosquitoes rest during the day. We caught a few with the Procopat collector in here. So the idea is that the males feed on the on the flowers after they've swarmed and then they'll rest on the outside of these plants during the night and then first thing in the morning at dawn they'll go towards the darkest places they can see and behind me there's a break in the vegetation which the mosquitoes almost certainly will go into. So what we're doing here is waiting for the mosquitoes to come out and as soon as they do we'll catch them and I think is that one mosquito? Well, no it's not a mosquito. We'll have to wait. Um, and then as soon as they, once they come out we will aspirate them, put them in a cage and today we'll mark them with fluorescent red powder and, and let them go and then we'll see if we catch them again over time so that we might get a, a survival rate and we'll also then start looking elsewhere to see if we can find marked males at, at different distances from where we've let them go. We will also look to see whether or not we can get marked males in a swarm which occurs maybe um, five meters from where I'm sitting. Cut. So they are now coming out. Uh, I don't know if you, you, you'll be able to see them but in a short while there should be droves of them. Uh, it's already... There's one, there's... We are also measuring the light. So what's the light level now? 238 lux. So, around 240 lux is when they start coming out. Yeah. You can see that, perhaps you can see, that they're uh, the fell. And they say okay. the swarms... So, okay. you, you can perhaps see some of the males dancing around in here now, flying around. They're beginning to get increase in number. There's not quite as many as there were the other day, but there's still a reasonable number. still time for me to catch a few more. So this is our collection from today which we will now, there's not that many, but we will now mark them and let them go so that in the days to come we can see if they are still hanging around. So we're having to improvise our insufflator but hopefully this will oh, oh. All right, the insufflator obviously doesn't work, so now we try another method. And we should have some red powder over our male friends here. And so, 
Now, let's let them go. Let's see. If we have anything that is marked, here they go. Well, they don't look too bad, do they? A few. So they've all left, just about, I think, even even this one that's quite heavily marked here, he's gone off, away you go, away you go, see you again we hope, have a nice day, or night, there's one, oh come on, you can come out here, you can, uh, not flying away, one, didn't make it. There's a female in there too, but she wants to come out. So, there's, there's a couple of, of mosquitoes that didn't make it. But that method improvised on the spot seems to have done the job. Right. So, one of the collection techniques that we are comparing is a comparison of indoor resting methods. Here in Adibosco there are a, two animal shelters. This is one of them in which goats and in this one a calf are kept at night. It has a number of mosquitoes resting in there in the day. So we alternate between between a backpack aspirator, which Fatawi is using now, and uh, well it's not Fatawi, but and a proker pack and manual aspiration. In each collection, we run five removal samples. So today, in this shelter, we are running the, the backpack and we will collect from the walls five times in sequence so that we can eventually get an estimate of the total number of mosquitoes in the shelter. The, the opening of the backpack is run at about a meter a second parallel to the walls and, and roof in fact. So all surfaces of the, of the shelter are searched for eat once for each replica. The first round okay. of collection yeah. on every day we put into a cage and attempt to keep the mosquitoes alive. By doing so we hope to determine what proportion of the mosquitoes become gravid and what proportion remain um, pre-gravid after 24 hours post-collection. We, we find that in, in general there are very very few unfeds, maybe one unfed mosquito per, per collection. So here goes our first collection from this shelter and if it's possible you should be able to see that there are a reasonable number of mosquitoes here.
these are the mosquitoes from the first round of backpack collection this morning, the 13th of October, Friday the 13th. Here we are sampling with the backpack aspirator to compare this with the Procopac and manual aspiration. So again, we will take five sequential samples using the backpack here from this animal shelter today. These mosquitoes, we will mark them, we will count them and then mark them with a, a green colour. Okay, so now take the top. So we've just marked these mosquitoes with a red colour. And although some of them look pretty moribund, with a little bit of persuasion, they should fly away. So there are a few marked mosquitoes. It doesn't really show up very well. That we can see that they're resting now back in their original place. The second shelter is a more open structure with a tin roof and a different set of animals inside it. This has goats and sheep. The first one had a calf and goats. Here we are collecting with another mechanical aspirator, the, the recently developed Procopac aspirator, which works on the same principle as the backpack, but is obviously a lot lighter, smaller and easier to use. This shelter, because it is so open, generally has fewer mosquitoes inside it. But nevertheless, there's still a reasonable number in here, 50 or 60 every day. Here you have a couple of mosquitoes resting on the tin roof, if they can be seen. They tend obviously to go into the darker corners, the left in the morning. Mosquitoes from the first round of sampling in this shelter have also been put in a cage. So we will also see if they become completely gravid or remain pre-gravid. Jonathan is now on his second round of sampling. We do five rounds every morning. As part of our experiment, we are comparing the newly developed Sooner Trap, which is what is here in the video now, with the Favela Tent Trap and human landing collections to collect outdoor biting mosquitoes, outdoor biting Anopheles arabiensis. The 
Suna trap is an updraft trap that uses carbon dioxide, which we generate here in uh, we're using sugar and yeast and artificial human odor. So there is there is artificial human odor in the in the dome of the trap which is blown downwards and out through the base of the trap uh, except for the middle where there is the updraft suction fan. So although the Suna trap failed to catch any mosquitoes out in the open. We are now trying it in more secluded sites with our Anopheles arabiensis. So here and, and we have removed the, the monitoring net just in case that influenced the, the numbers. So here we are seeing, so we can see what what mosquitoes we caught last night. And unfortunately, there are none. 